在政府工作报告中，对于过去五年的脱贫工作取得的成效啊，用的是取得了决定性进展。那么，我想请问，对于这一判断，您是嗯，能不能跟我们多说一些？那么，第二点就是二零一八年怎样巩固前期脱贫工作取得的成绩，那么完成政府划定的脱贫目标？谢谢。With the China Daily, the government work report says that decisive progress in poverty alleviation has been achieved in the last five years. Uh, could you elaborate on this judgment? And in 2018, what will be done to lock in the results of uh, previous years and to fulfill the goals for this year? Since the 18th Congress, our poverty alleviation efforts have been sustained for five years already. By the end of 2015, we have initiated the detailed campaign of uh, poverty alleviation, and it's been two years in the past. Two years, what have we achieved and what are the remaining legacy issues and uh, what about the next steps? Those are all the closely followed questions and I'm ready to answer all of those questions. Under the leadership of uh, General Secretary Xi Jinping, the whole Central Committee and uh, the entire society has been fully committed to this effort, which led to great breakthroughs and market results. There are several landmarks. The first one is we have actually generated the best and unprecedented achievements in the history. By the end of 2012, we have about 98.99 million people living under the poverty line. It's almost like 100 million, but by the end of 2017, that number has been greatly reduced to about 30.46 million. So in five years, we have reduced a great number of people leading, uh, living under the poverty line. Every year, that number has been about uh, 10 million on average. By 2020, we target to reduce um, actually an annual number of about uh, 6 million. But of course, with different standards and different numbers, we could see that uh, sometimes the number may be doubling the others in the previous years. And in 1986, we have uh, unveiled a document about poverty alleviation. And by 2012, uh, we have about 832 poverty line, uh, poverty counties. In 2016, we have helped 28 counties to get out of the title, and in 2017, another 120 counties have actually gotten rid of uh, such a title as a poverty-stricken counties. So we could see the number has been increasing along the way with higher standards set by the national government. And for the first time, the total aggregate number of uh, poverty-stricken counties have been the lowest in the history. And besides, the net income of the farmers in those uh, poverty-stricken counties is actually higher about uh, 2.5 percentage points compared to the farmers living in the other counties. And we have also sped up the development in the poverty-stricken areas with our campaign of poverty alleviation, the infrastructure, public services in those uh, impoverished areas have been greatly enhanced and the living standards in those areas have also been actually improved. With the income increasing and poverty alleviation, we have pushed the industrial development in the poor areas where there are actually some uh, solid developments of industries and income generation. With some uh, relocation 
of the residents and returning the farmland to forests and other environment protection efforts, the ecological environment in the poverty stricken areas have also been actually improved. That's the second point I want to make. And thirdly, we have successfully built a nationwide network and joint forces of making breakthroughs. And fourthly, we have uh, bring, brought about a, a mechanism of poverty alleviation with Chinese characteristics. For all of those achievements, they could be set as the highlights of what we have done in the past years. They are a demonstration of the success of our central government's determination and arrangements. Those are the general results of the previous years. What about the next step? The 19th National Congress has already made some arrangements. It's the same thing with the government work report issued uh, several days ago. And uh, looking forward, we will cement all of those uh, achievements we have made in the past years. For example, we will continue to hit the targets and the standards need to be well preserved. We also need to be committed to implementing the national government's arrangement and all of the mechanisms and systems. We need to have targeted poverty alleviation and uh, such a guideline needs to be upheld along all the years. And under the leadership of the central government, we need to further improve our mechanisms and policy making process and we need to innovate all of these efforts and measures in order to deepen the efforts of poverty alleviation in the poor areas. We need to improve our working styles and methodologies and uh, we need to train the officials and leaders working in this sector. All of those are actually designed to win a great success in such a campaign. We not only look at the second phase, and we have full confidence that this will be delivered. Thank you.